I'm an artist uh, working in the intersection of neuroscience and technology. And, oh, sorry. and so today I'll take you into a narrative journey inside machines uh, and machine networks to see how gestures and interactions amongst them can be actually used to influence us, influence how we perceive them emotionally. Um, so if you look at this, what do you automatically see? you actually see a lamp that's crouching over. It probably has something hiding. It's maybe scared. So what I started with is actually a chatbot. Um, this chatbot, actually, I gave it the simple gesture of pausing randomly when you ask it questions. So immediately, with a simple gesture, people got really uh, emotionally involved. They're like, oh, shit. Like, why is it not replying? Like, is it talking to somebody else? Oh, no. Um, I also realized, though, that to get at the story more fundamentally, you need a physical device. So I built this lamp, which actually tracks your face from afar. But when you get close, it actually is shy. Um, so this movie is going to show you a little bit about what this lamp is going to do. OK. So immediately, you can see people getting um, emotionally involved, right? Just like all you guys are, um, looking at this lamp, seeing how it works. Two people are trying to get their attention, like, oh, no, look at me, look at me. And in fact, when this lamp ultimately broke down, as you're going to see, um, people had an emotional, you know, they were like crying, right? Um, so this is one uh, machine. But, but what can we do with a network of machines, right? Um, with a network of machine, there's a lot more subtlety in their interaction. Can we make the gestures such that when we see them, they're going to do one thing, and when we don't see them, they do something else? Is there something about the n interaction of these machines that can be looked into? And so this is kind of the secret lives of machines. So I built a set of performance micro machines, which do one thing when you look at them. But as you see, they do something completely different when you're not. And so here's their story. So you can see that people actually have a lot of fun interacting with them, right? They play games such as like, whose face do I see? Or can I mask my face and not have it perceive? How long can I hold that? Um, they have a lot of fun with it. But when they also realize when these machines actually do different things when they're not looking, that's where the real story begins. It is what you think it is. So as you can see, the labels that I put on them actually makes a huge difference. And I think what's happening is that we actually want to map our conception of what these machines are onto the machines themselves. And so that's one of the main takeaways I got from this project. Um, I just want to give a shout out um, that I'm actually having a um, exhibit at the New York Hall of Science. You guys can come check it out starting next week. 
And I hope also that you can come visit my website. But better yet, also come talk to me. I think we're going to have some really exciting conversations. So thank you very much.